Item Number SCP-122 Level 1-122 Classified Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures Under no circumstances is SCP-122 to enter an unpowered state. At least one redundant fail-safe power system is to be installed in order to maintain power to the object in the event of power outages. Regular maintenance is also to be conducted on SCP-122 at the discretion of the head researcher in order to reduce flickering. A security camera is to be installed within the room that the anomaly is placed in so as to regularly monitor the occurrence of flickering within the subject. Due to its utility and importance in assisting the psychological assistance efforts of Site-135, SCP-122 is to be used on a daily basis, with SCP-122-1, currently Anna Talon, being given normal humanoid accommodations within the SCP-122 containment cell at the discretion of the incumbent head researcher. Should the current SCP-122-1 subject become unfit for use with the object, a new SCP-122-1 subject must be procured as soon as is feasible. Description: SCP-122 is a plastic nightlight in the shape of a star, thought to have been manufactured between 1960 and 1980. When in a powered state, SCP-122 has been reported to be able to exude a sense of calmness, comfort, and safety to those within a roughly 20km radius. As such, it has been known to alleviate symptoms of currently prevailing psychological conditions in subjects. Examples of these psychological conditions include psychological stress, paranoia, phobias, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. However, these alleviating effects are only present when SCP-122 is within the same room as a child under the age of 14 who subscribes to the beliefs of traditional Abrahamic religions. Footnote 1. Children who have shown to score at least an 8 out of 10 on the Aglio Pontiff religious belief scale have been shown to display the best results as SCP-122-1 subjects. Footnote 2. The reasons for this specification are currently unknown, though a link may be established between this fact and the previous descriptions of SCP-122-2 as an angel, see SCP-122 use records. This aforementioned child subject, referred to henceforth as SCP-122-1, is currently 7-year-old Anna Talon, who was procured into Foundation custody in 2017. When in SCP-122's containment cell, SCP-122-1 has reported sightings of an angel in her dreams, henceforth referred to as SCP-122-2. Refer to SCP-122 use records for further information regarding SCP-122-2. SCP-122-2 has also been reported as sometimes appearing within the dreams of personnel affected by SCP-122. Footnote 3. As of now, only younger personnel aged 20 to 25 have reported having sightings of SCP-122-2. Based on reports, it has been associated with positive feelings, such as that of security and relief. Footnote 4. However, sightings of SCP-122-2 within the dreams of personnel do not show the progression of distance and positive feelings reported by SCP-122-1. The reason for this is unknown. From this, it can be inferred that SCP-122-2 is related in some part to the aforementioned positive effects. Since the beginning of SCP-122's use in supplementing psychological assistance efforts in Site-135, annual personnel turnover rates have been reduced by 90%, with annual personnel suicide rates being reduced by 85%, with Site-135 having recorded the highest instances of either statistic of all sites prior to the use of SCP-122, the subject has been integral to the continued operation of the site. Excerpts of SCP-122 Use Records SCP-122-1 Name Age Date of Use February 12, 2017 SCP-122-2 Activity Incident Notes Positive effects of SCP-122 noted. Electronic failsafe systems implemented soon after. SCP-122-1 Name Anna Talon Age 2 years old Date of Use March 1st, 2017 SCP-122-2 Activity None Incident Notes No instances of flickering or dimming. SCP-122-1 was noted to be sleeping without incident. SCP-122-1 Name Anna Talon Age 3 years old Date of Use April 28, 2018 SCP-122-2 Activity Description God said he'd given me a guardian angel, and he did. 
Last night, there was a beautiful angel with wings, and he was just standing there, and he was looking at me, beside the door. He did that all night. Incident Notes One Instance of Dimming SCP-122-1 Name Anna Talon Age 5 years old Date of Use June 26, 2020 SCP-122-2 Activity Description I saw the angel again today. He was at the edge of my bed, and he was looking at me with the widest smile on his face. His wings were… this big. I never realized they were that big before. Incident Notes Two instances of dimming and one instance of flickering. SCP-122-1 Name Anna Talon Age 7 years old Date of use September 15, 2022 SCP-122-2 Activity Description He sat in front of me, just looking at me and watching me sleep. He looked like he wanted to hug me, and I wanted to hug him too. Incident Notes Four instances of flickering However, SCP-122's components have degraded in the time since its creation, with materials that could be used to replace them no longer being manufactured in the present. This degradation renders SCP-122 vulnerable to fluctuations in its brightness, with flickering and dimming being reported to be the most frequent fluctuations. This causes SCP-122 to assume an unpowered state. When in an unpowered state, SCP-122 Warning, the following file is level 4-122 classified. Any attempt to access this file without level 4-122 authorization will be logged and will lead to immediate disciplinary action. Declassified SCP-122 Use Records Updated SCP-122-1 Name Jana Martson Age 6 years old Date of Use February 12, 2017 SCP-122-2 Activity Description had a blackout. He got her on the first night. Incident Notes Jana Martson lost. Proposal for new SCP-122-1 subject made. Positive effects of SCP-122 noted. Electronic failsafe systems implemented soon after. SCP-122-1 Name Anna Talon Age 2 years old Date of use March 1st, 2017 SCP-122-2 Activity None Incident Notes no instances of flickering or dimming. SCP-122-1 was noted to be sleeping without incident. SCP-122-2 Distance Undetected Image of Greatest Activity SCP-122-1 Name Anna Talon Age 3 years old Date of Use April 28, 2018 SCP-122-2 Activity Description God said he'd given me a guardian angel, and he did. Last night, there was a beautiful angel with wings, and he was just standing there, and he was looking at me, beside the door. He did that all night. Incident Notes One instance of dimming SCP-122-2 distance, 6 meters Image of greatest activity SCP-122-1 name, Anna Talon Age, 5 years old Date of use, June 26, 2020 SCP-122-2 Activity Description I saw the angel again today. He was at the edge of my bed, and he was looking at me with the widest smile on his face. His wings were… this big. I never realized they were that big before. Incident Notes Two instances of dimming, one instance of flickering. SCP-122-2 Distance 2 meters Image of Greatest Activity SCP-122-1 Name Anna Talon Age 7 years old Date of use September 15, 2022 SCP-122-2 Activity Description He sat in front of me, just looking at me and watching me sleep. He looked like he wanted to hug me, and I wanted to hug him too. Incident Notes Four Instances of Flickering SCP-122-2 Distance 6 Centimeters Image of Greatest Activity Emergency Alert! Site-wide blackout detected. Check SCP-122 status ASAP. Last image recovered from SCP-122 containment chamber.
Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.